I am going to show you how to make a 61 inch recurve bow. I was gonna do a 64 inch, but I changed my mind. We're gonna go a little bit shorter. So as you can tell, I've already cut my scheduled 41 inch PVC to length. So this is 61 inches right here. Next thing we're gonna do now is I'm gonna measure the center. Once we measure the centers, then I'm gonna go four inches each way from the center. So four inches this way, four inches this way. We're gonna mark it and then we'll do the next step. All right, so we got the marks on here. We've got 30 and a half inches. We went four inches this way and we went four inches this way. So 26 and a half, 34 and a half. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna warm up the limbs. We're gonna warm up the limbs from this, from the base of the limb, all the way up to the first notch. And we're gonna repeat on the other side. We're gonna heat up here, all the way up to the notch. And what we're gonna do then is we're gonna clamp this down as tight as possible. And we're gonna taper it all the way up to the very first mark. So we're gonna do the same thing over here. Taper it all the way up to the very first mark. All right, so we're gonna start heating her up now. Now, I would recommend if you're gonna use a heat gun like I have there, wear gloves, it gets hot and you'll probably burn your hands. All right, so now we got the PVC nice and hot. So now it's nice and uh, flexible. As you can tell, it is like spaghetti now. So what we're gonna do is, come on now. Grab a couple clamps, and now we're going to clamp it, and this is the part where I'm talking about where we have to taper it. Now you have time to do this, you don't have to work too fast, but still, you kind of want to work at a little bit of a rush pace. Alright, so now we've got it nice and tapered. We've got it right here to the 4 inch mark, and then we've got it all the way down to the bottom, pinched nice and tight. So we've got a taper running the whole entire way. What we're going to do now is we're going to repeat the step on this side, the same exact step. We're just gonna heat it up to the four inch mark all the way down to the end, and we're gonna taper it. So now we're gonna actually take this out and see if the limbs are actually nice and stiff. It's been about 10 minutes. Yep, nice and stiff now. See, and there's the taper we wanted. Nothing all the way up to one inch. Now you can tell right here I got a little burn. My daughter's down in the basement with me. She kind of distracted me a little bit. But yeah, I've got a couple burn marks all over the place. It's not really a big deal in the grand scheme of things because, uh, I mean, unless you're burning right through it, you know, hey, whatever. Okay, so now we're going to repeat the same step again on this side. Okay, so I just took the clamps off of the bow here. Let's see. Yep, okay, we're good here. So now we've got the taper exactly the way I want on both sides. Coming up here, coming up here. Oh, where's that? Right there. So we got them going all the way up there. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start making our recurve. Now, since the tapers are coming in this way, we wanna recurve it out this way, both limbs, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna heat it up. I think I'm gonna do about a six inch. Um, my last bow I did was, uh, the one you guys wanted me to make an instructional video on was an eight inch. And this is also a bit longer, but like I said, I'm making this one a bit shorter. So we're going to do a six inch. So we're going to mark down six inches from the top to the bottom. We're going to do the same thing on the bottom here. We're going to do six inches from here to here. Now, once we have that nice and heated up, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bend this over a paint can. All right. So we're going to do that now. Okay. So that should be good enough. All right. Lay the paint can down. We're gonna to try to keep this as level as possible. Working right where that is, and we're gonna push it down. All right, so we've got a little bit of a bend here. What I want, now I'm gonna work with my hand. It looks like I got a little too hot on the side there, but that's okay. Not gonna affect it at all. Okay, so now we got the curve how we want it. I'm going to form it just a bit more. I'm going to make sure it's not going to go cockeyed on me. Okay. There we go. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing to the other side. All right, so now we've got a mark down at an inch and a half. So we're going to cut the notches in both sides. We're not going to do it very much, probably about a quarter of an inch to three sixteenths of an inch. All 
Okay, so we got the notches cut out now. Notches on both sides. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a rasp or a file or whatever you wanna call it. If it's wood, it's rasp, if it's metal, it's a file. We're gonna round off the edges. We don't want any sharp edges for that bowstring. Um, reason for that, if we do, we got rough edges, it's gonna cut into the bowstring, your bowstring's gonna snap. So we're gonna round them off as best we can. All right, so now we got everything all smoothed out and everything. Now we're just gonna put the finishing touches on it. So we go ahead and get the uh, grip on it and we can go ahead and get some paint on it. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take off probably three quarters of an inch on both sides. So now I cleaned up the edges, and as you can tell, not too bad. But nice that uh, burn mark there, but that's not going to affect our performance at all. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do a test fire. We're going to now get the bowstring. Uh, we're going to use Paracord 550 for this, and we are going to string it up um, for the firing before we finish it up. All right, now for the knot, for the uh, bow, I'm just doing a simple knot here. Just taking it, wrapping it. I don't know the name of any knots or anything like that. And all I'm doing then is I'm just wrapping it around. You know what? Let's make it a bit bigger. Because I am absolutely horrible when it comes to tying knots. Yeah, it looks good. get nice and top and then what we'll do is we'll measure the length of it and we'll just do the same thing on the other side hey guys here it is i don't have any of the uh, bowstring on or anything like that or not the bowstring but the grips on it yet so now we're just doing a test fire to see how it shoots so we know if we have to go further or not on it holy crap yeah i don't know if you guys saw that that was uh that was over 100 yards definitely now i got to find my arrow. But yeah, it works. So I'll finish it up. I'll probably adjust the bowstring a little bit. And uh, yeah, I'll be done. I'll show you guys the finished product. All right, guys. Here is the finished product right here. As you can tell, I did a couple extra different things today. I uh, put a little hemp right here on each side. Got a bug on me. And then, uh, of course, like always, I did the hemp hand rest. So... So, all right, let's fire it. There it is, all three of them fired pretty dang well. So, that's how you make it.